Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am in Sydney. I am so excited to get this video started. We're here for five nights. We stayed last night, but six nights. six nights including last night, but we got here really late. This is our view up to now. So lovely, lots of high rise buildings. Me and Josh were saying last night when we had a walk, the streets and some sort of reminders of New York a little bit. So I'm just so excited to be here. I can't believe we're in Sydney. But yeah, we got here last night. I will add some overlays of the hotel room. The hotel is really nice, kind of loud, but it's all right. It's fine, it does the job. It's quite small as well, but it does what we need it to. It's really central. We're staying in Chinatown. So yeah, we're gonna go find a little spot for breakfast now. I will show you when we get there. We've come to a place called Camomile for breakfast. I saw this yesterday when we were walking by and it looked really nice. So we thought we'd come in and try it. I'm not that hungry this morning. So I just went for some um, sourdough bread with jam on top, delicious. And then Josh, what drink did you get? We got iced teas. Jasmine and lychee. Jasmine and lychee. I don't know if I like that. It might be a bit too floral for me. And I went for the peach one. It's got like orange and stuff in it as well. Just giving this one a little taste. It's so nice. Come on. I don't think I'm going to like yours. This is Josh's. Can't really see it. There we go. Ooh. Yeah. Not a fan of that. Not a fan. So I have completely finished my meal and Josh's has just turned up. It is half past nine in the morning. I didn't realise that's what it was. And you've got chips. Well, it did say all day breakfast. Yeah, but I thought it was going to be like a little... Like a breakfast burger. burger. It sounds like I've got a meal for No. <laughs> it's the chips at half past nine. Now, if you watched my Brisbane video, you'll know that it was Anzac Day yesterday. Um, we went to watch one of the parades, like we said, for maybe about an hour. And had a look at the parades. And it was amazing. So today we got to Sydney. First thing we've come to do is come and look at the Anzac Memorial. And it is even more beautiful than I realised. I didn't think it would be this big. And there's just beautiful running walk going all the way down the stairs. And there's a little fountain at the bottom. It honestly is so, so gorgeous. And it's really nice to be here obviously this time of year. With it being Anzac Day yesterday. And there's loads of ibis over there. It's just beautiful, so I think we're going to take a little walk through here. It's quite loud actually, the water, which goes underneath it, I believe, and you can walk through it. So yeah, we're going to have a little look. Look at this beautiful view. You've got the tower up there, the sky tower. We've just got all the big buildings, a lovely bit of greenery. And then this is St. Mary's, I believe, St. Mary's Cathedral. And you've got all the lovely plants at the bottom. This is just absolutely beautiful. And it's so big, you can see the little spikes from ages away. Here's a bit of a closer view. It does look a bit dull, but that's because the sun is like beaming the other way. So it's either really dark or really overexposed, but just so you can get a little better look of it. And we're gonna see if we can go inside. We've come inside, I'm not talking very loud because I don't want to be disrespectful. This is what it's like, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the ceiling as well. It's actually massive. This is so big in real life and I didn't even know this was in Sydney until this morning when I had a look at maps. We are now heading towards, oh wow, unrelated, but look at the side of the St. Mary's Cathedral. But we are now heading towards the Sky Tower and we've walked up this little fountain in Hyde Park and how beautiful is that? It's so clear, the water, look at this. Oh, just makes me jump in. Look at that. Stunning, it's beautiful and this is where we're hopefully going to head up. We're going to see what's going on, but I think you can go up it. So we have come to go up the Sydney Tower. We've literally just come into it now. It wasn't the cheapest, it was like $38 each, which is like 20 quid at home. So not too cheap, but not too expensive. Well, it depends, we need to see what's actually up there. But we're heading there now. You can also do this thing called the Skywalk where you walk around it, which is cool. Oh, how big is it? What is it? Have we done any of these? It's not that tall. No. Nah. Sky Tower, New Zealand. That one's famous. It's the Sydney Tower. That's the one Drake's got his album. Ah. Yes, yeah, so it's really little, actually. That's it's it. the smallest one. This is the first sighting of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Wow. There it is, sort of half hidden, which is nice because we'll get the first view of it will be proper in front of it. But yeah, you can see it from here. Wow, we're going to walk up to the top of that. 
it's exciting. This is beautiful. Now, I do have to do a little voiceover for this bit just because there was copyrighted music. So, I just wanted to show you the Anzac Memorial Building from above. Look at all that greenery in the centre of Sydney. Isn't that lovely? I just think it's really, really nice. And then, I'm not sure what this stadium was, but you could see the big stadium. And then, we got a little look of the Opera House. This is the first time I'd seen it. I was so excited. Oh, it was just amazing. We are now walking down to the harbour. We're about to come down and have a little walk to the bridge. Already I'm seeing some lovely birds. Definitely very expensive birds, but how yeah, no, lovely are these? Sure birds. That one there, wow, the starship. One thing that is hard to believe, probably just because I'm from England, is that these sharks are just in there. In Sydney in this big sea and if you go in that water you might get eaten by a shark. It's crazy. A bit later we're still just having a little walk down the Sydney harbour. We've seen some people fishing, we're looking out for sharks. I can't see anything as of yet but we're gonna keep a look out anyway. There's so many people fishing around here in the harbour. A little lad earlier nearly caught something. Look at this view of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Isn't that just incredible? Actually, takes breath away. Watch on the corner. I was like, I actually can't believe what I'm seeing. That is just beautiful. I know. I was just saying, there's so many people fishing around here. Just goes all around this corner, just full of people fishing. So we were just walking. Obviously, the Sydney Harbour Bridge is just there, and I was like, maybe we should, you know, start walking towards the Opera House. Not realising, literally as we turn around the corner, that it is right. I can't believe we're actually in Sydney. This is unbelievable. You see it in films, on TV shows, and even when you get here, you know you're going to see these things. But actually seeing it in the whole of a thing like that, oh, it took my breath away. I'm so excited. We've just come to an ice cream van. Look at my ice cream. Oh, how good does that look? And this is our view whilst we stand here and I've already screamed this is the best thing ever Josh has got the exact same just got it without sprinkles there it is it's ever so exciting here's a close up view of the Sydney Opera House oh this is beautiful the Sydney Harbour Bridge is there we've not quite walked up to it yet ice cream was delicious and now we're just sat taking this in we're not even sat we're stood I'm just overwhelmed but look at this. Oh wow. Look at all the people over there. So busy. Make some noise. I'll try and look away from the sun, which is almost impossible. Okay. All three behind my back. One, two, three. <laughs> it's called karate. Karate choppu. Hi! Yeah! Hi! Yeah! 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 What the hell? <sighs> How is he doing that? That's so impressive. In three, two, one. Oh, what a waste of time. <laughs> it's a joke, you're going to have some fun. He's I been stood a there for ages it, now. I haven't practiced and the guy's so starting to do a different sure trick. I, do it, but I will give it a <laughs> Attempt number one of five clubs. <laughs> Two. What? <laughs> this is another moment where I've got to do a voiceover. We tried wall burgers for the first time, actually the only time we tried it in Australia, but I'd never heard of it before. It's Mark Wahlberg's brand and we got one of the classic burgers. I can't remember for the life of me what it was called. It was just like a classic beef burger with some bacon in it, cheese. It was unreal. You can tell by the look on my face. Very impressed. I'm not really a burger girl. And then Josh surprised me with a mac and cheese. Oh my god, so good. One of the best things I tasted the whole time I was in Sydney. It was unreal. You would have seen clips of what we ate at Wahlberg's, Mark Wahlberg's brand. I did have to overlay it because I would have got copyrighted for the music, but it's literally around the corner from where we are now. So good. And now we are at the Opera House. This is our current view.
What on earth? How amazing is this? It really does live up to expectations. It looks exactly like it does when you see it in furs on TV. It's just absolutely incredible. And look at all the people. And another thing I was I didn't realise how many boats there would actually be. Like I thought there'd be city cruises and things like that, but there's literally so many different types of boats, jet skis all the time. Um yeah, it's crazy, crazy busy on these boats. The harbour's like down there where most of them are going in, where a lot of the tours are coming from. Walked a little bit further so you can see the front of the opera house. About to walk up the steps, get a full view from a bit higher up. <gasps> Look, somebody's got married, like a wedding dress. Oh, oh now the groomsmen next to I'm waiting for a proposal actually. I was saying to Josh, I feel like it's a renowned place where people are getting proposed to. So I'm waiting to see someone get down on one knee, but I've seen a wedding, so I feel like I'm halfway there. And again, another married couple over there, taking pictures in front of the Sydney Opera House. Got the groomsmen for this wedding over here. I'm just waiting on a proposal. We've got two weddings, but no proposal right yet. I have changed into a shirt. I bought this earlier from Zara because, to be honest, I just needed some more long sleeve clothing because as much as the sun is out we just get a little bit colder on the night so I've changed into a shirt but you can still see the opera house you can still see the <laughs> what the hell is that about he's got a full trampoline in his hand the harbour bridge is there and we are about to have a little wonder around the botanical gardens a nice little wonder we've come in the botanical gardens and this is the government house it is closed but we're just having a little look at it wow Looks like a beautiful building. Look at that, all the flags at the front. Zoom in so you can see it a little bit better, but the sun is shining pretty bright on it. Such a beautiful place. And here is an even better angle of it. What a beautiful place. We're in the Botanical Gardens, there's a lovely little lake over there. Just trees everywhere, which is so nice that they've got this, even in the big city still. In general at the minute, both in Sydney and Brisbane, I found that there's still so much greenery everywhere. Like, you'll be in the middle of like a really busy street, but there'll still be greenery all the way down the paths, which is lovely. It's how it should be. So yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful country up to now. The whole place has just been incredible. I've just loved every second up to now. How cool is this tree? Has it been like purposely? Oh no, it tells you what happened to it. It fell over in 2008. The tree will not be lifted back to its former upright position as the trunk is damaged near the base and further movement may cause it to snap off. Still in the botanical gardens. This bit's really lovely. This little guy of real poor thing. We just went on a branch to get something to eat and then just absolutely decked it into the water, fell off the branch, smashed into the water, he really ate himself. We've got a, what is that? Seagull? We've got a seagull going back. And what are these? Cormorants. Is that right? Cormorant. Something like that, but there's so many of them. It's really fun to just watch them, actually. This is probably the nicest part so far. Me and Josh were just saying that we think up to now, Brisbane Botanical Gardens are so much better than the Sydney ones. The Sydney ones are still nice, but the Brisbane ones were just absolutely beautiful. However, this is gorgeous as well. Josh has just updated me that these are in fact shags. Cormorants have a little tuft. Shags right, these, do, are these like definitely do not have little tufts. Right, so we've got a bunch of shags on the tree. There is so much going on behind me right now. There's a guy over there who's like filming some sort of music video. Singing is absolutely hot. These two are practicing gymnastics over there. We've got the beautiful Sydney Harbour Bridge, but this just, you can't even watch. You can't even watch the Sydney Harbour Bridge because there's just too much else going on in this vicinity. What on earth is happening? This is where we are at. I don't know how to say the name, so I'm not even gonna try, but this is where I would recommend for probably the best view of the Sydney Opera House and the harbour. First look at that. Which, to be honest. <laughs> wow, that is absolutely incredible. I don't think I've ever seen something so beautiful in my life. You've got the trees, you've got the sun setting, and you've got the harbour bridge, and the opera house. How insane. 
It's just absolutely beautiful. I feel so, so lucky to be here right now. It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. We've got here at the perfect time as well for the sun to be setting. Zoom in so you can see it even closer. There was an owl with wooing, but he stopped just as I've started recording. <gasps> Where is he? He's so close, but I can't figure out where. He's in this tree, or anything. Yeah. <gasps> Without a doubt. Sounds like he's right above us. Look at all these. Beautiful. This one's cool. I feel like I've not really seen one like this before. Sun's starting to set, the lights are coming on. It's getting dark. Which means the bats will come out because we saw quite a few bats in the Brisbane Botanical Gardens when it got dark. So we might see one tonight if we're lucky. Oh, there's a bat. There's two bats. I don't even think you can see them on the camera because they're so small, but there they are. There they are. They are pretty low down. They keep flying overhead. But the problem is, is that they go so fast that you just don't have a chance to get them on record. I know it's just a blurry miss, but in real life, they're so big. They're so big and there's actually so many of them flying about over our heads. Oh, honestly, they're everywhere. One's just landed in the palm tree. There's more coming. I wonder where they're going. There's one really far in the distance over there. There's two of them, there's three here, guess. <gasps> oh, at least you can see them now. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? They're absolutely everywhere. And I'm sorry, my camera's a bit blurry. I don't think it can really cope with what's going on. But they're just everywhere. Absolutely, this is insane. I've never seen so many bats in my life. And it's just a blurry mess on my camera. But I, I can't believe this. We've come for a little walk back and we have come to see the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House that up at night. Look at the sea for one, just beautiful, gorgeous, so nice to lit up. The bridge just looks beautiful lit up on the night. You can see Luna Park over there, little like amusements, fun fair kind of vibe I think over there. And then the Sydney Opera House, which is lit up but only a little bit. I don't know, but I feel like there's maybe an event on tonight or something on because there's a lot of people dressed up walking towards it and obviously there's the bar down here. There's no one at the Opera House every single night. I didn't know that. Wow. Anyway, so I think people are coming in for that now. Good morning. It is a very dull day in Sydney right now. It is currently raining. That guy's talking about it too much. Hopefully it's going to get a little bit better, but we've come to a place called Two Good Eggs for breakfast. Not going to lie, we did order quite a while ago and we didn't order much. Joshua's got some toast because neither of us are that hungry. Not going to lie, I did snack on some rice cakes this morning. So yeah, Joshua just got bit white on toast and I went for the banana bread, toasted banana bread, which just looked lovely, but we ordered our drinks and we've got no choice. Not a fantastic start. Not terrible. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's not great. Anyway, we're gonna sit, eat this, and then hopefully it's not raining and we can actually do some exploring today. So it's been like another 10 minutes. My drink came. It's not that sweet. It's alright though. I could drink it. It's just not as sweet as I usually like it. I always go for a vanilla ice latte. Always get it decaf as well. Didn't really hit the spot for me that much this time. My breakfast was really nice actually, really enjoyed it. I got the toasted banana bread. Just used Vegemite on toast, it's just a classic, but he said he really enjoyed it. We have been waiting a good 15 minutes now. Just for Josh's drink. I don't know if we've forgotten about it, but yeah, I got a drink it and a drink the whole time. Overall, not the greatest experience I've ever had, but I like to you all. So they forgot to make Josh's drink, something happened. They've given us it on the house, which is really nice. But look at it. Josh said this whipped cream, this ice cream, this bits on top. It does look really, really good, actually. So, you know, not all bad. So the sun has finally come out, which is nice. And we are on the ferry to go over to Manly. We've got a good little seat. We're at, I want to say Central Quay right now. You get on here. It's like the main boating area near the um, Harbour Bridge. And we've got like a 10 minute wait or so. 
and then we're gonna go to Manning, which doesn't take very long at all. It only takes 20 minutes to go to. I saw it on TikTok, people recommending to go and just see it, and it's good. The ferry journey is really good as well, so I thought we'd go and have a little look at that. On a weekend, it's only $9 for a return, so it's not too bad at all. It will be even cheaper probably during the week, so. More or less yeah. free, isn't it? It's so good. More or less. £4.50 or something for a return. For a, yeah, a two 20 minute journey. Yeah, two, it's so good. And yeah, this is our lovely, lovely view. Just waiting to set off now. Set off and already we have picked up the pace. This is going quick, isn't it? Usually when it sets off, you know, it sets off with a little bit of a slow pace and then it picks up. It's like that. Mm. Is that going straight away so fast? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh. I love a ferry ride. Can't beat it. They're so good. Now we've turned around and look at this. When moving around the vessel and Stop take it care right when now. Stairs, We've actually gateways. got the best seats in the house, haven't we? Avoid obstructing the entrance and exits. <gasps> Life jackets are located under oh. the seats. Getting a side view now. We haven't actually come around this side to see it, have we? First time we've seen it from this angle. I'm really confused about that. It's a little mini one. And then a bigger one. We should have come around this side. I can't believe we've not come around this side. Wow. I did not realise that. I had absolutely no idea that there was two of them next to each other. What the hell? I don't think it was. Yeah, look, the Navy ships are over there. I don't know, but it is very choppy. Oh my god. had no idea that there was two next to each other. What the hell? That's blown me away. <laughs> I've actually never experienced anything like this. It's going so quick and everyone's like screaming and shouting. This is crazy. It's going so fast and it's so choppy. Wow. I know. I know literally it looks so cold and black over where we're going. Great. <laughs> Oh my god! Wow! Loads and loads of like army ships. That's crazy. The grey clouds seem to be behind us, which is good. We've got blue skies ahead. We're about to go into Manly now. It has been a very, very bumpy ride. Very bumpy ride. Also, we've just gone past Watson's Bay, which I was going to go to because it looks like a really nice, cute little area and it's got like a beautiful lighthouse. The lighthouse we've just gone by is getting reconstructed and Watson's Bay is actually in the middle of nowhere. So if you do have any plans to come to Sydney and go to that, I won't recommend right now because it is just on the construction. Anyway, good to have seen it whilst we're on this so we didn't go and then get disappointed. But this is right in front of us now. It's Manly. So exciting! We have made it to Manly. I don't know how much there is actually to do here. Um, so we're just gonna have a little wander around and see, try and get some markets. Maybe get like a little snack or something. Go sit on the beach for a little bit, grab a drink, just chill. Really, we did a lot of walking yesterday, so we're just having a bit more of a chill day today. Really, we wanted to come here just to go on the ferry, just to say we've done it, so anything we see here, definitely worth it, but anything we see here is just a bonus, really. So, yeah, we're just gonna have a little wander around and see if we can find these markets. We've made it to the markets. Just gonna have a little wander around. Literally in the middle of, like, the high street, really. I don't know if it's on every day. We'll come on a Saturday, but, yeah, everyone's here. All the stalls are open. Lovely. Oh, and there's little birdies in the trees. The markets were really cute, mostly just like clothing, um, a lot of jewellery places. We had a little wander around there and now we have come just to the beachfront to have a little look, watching the people surfing. It's a lovely little beach. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, oh wow. God, there's so many volleyball courts, that's crazy. This area is very much a beach resort kind of vibe. I don't think there's that much to do or see, but there's a lot of beach and a lot of places to sit. We came down to get a drink, but the food looked so good that we ended up ordering food as well. So this is our little spot, just sitting out here. And the view of the beach is just there, which is nice. We're just chilling beachside, 
Can't wait to have a nice glass of Coke and just sit and chill. We've ordered a like bread bowl thing and some prawns as well. Because as much as breakfast was nice, not the most filling thing in the world. So I'm very, very excited for this and I can't wait for a fresh glass of Coke. There's nothing much better in life than a glass of Coke on holiday. It's so good and it's so hot now. Yeah, well, it's good sort of show, isn't it? Sun is beaming down. Josh has got himself a VB. It's is it the only drink you've not tried yet? Like Australian one or just another one of the ones you haven't tried? Josh is trying to try them all, but this one is what they use the excess of to make Vegemite with. It's called Victoria Bitter. Victoria Bitter, but VB is what it's called. Good. Nice, fresh. Our truffle is here. Truffle brioche is the one we went for. It was between that one and the hair one, but the truffle one just looked so good. So we ended up going for that one. Look at that. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's really nice and warm as well. This is so nice. It's like really, really crumbly, the texture. And it really goes well with the truffle. What did you say the truffle puffs at? Yeah. Yeah. So good. Then we've also gone for the prawns, which I didn't realise came with garlic bread. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited to dip that in that sauce. That looks so first, first good. Go on then. Go on, give it a try. <laughs> no, is it good though? It you smells like delicious. You won't like that. Am I not going to enjoy it? Yeah, I bet. This is unreal. Mmm. Some of the best tasting sauce I've ever had in my life. Oh, it's so good. We've come to look around a few of the shops now. We've just been in that antique shop there, which was nice, but very expensive. Now we are having a look at this place called Desired Books and Records. So it's got loads of cheap books. So these ones on there are five pounds, and then no, five dollars. Sorry, and then these vinyls are two dollars. How good is this? There's some real good steals in here. I mean, it's kind of hard for us to obviously take things back with us, but if you're local, this is great. We're leaving Manly now, is our last little view. We've been here for a few hours. We've had a really lovely time and some really lovely food. And I love seeing all these birds here. Me and Josh were talking about earlier, saying how do people come and get their birds? Because if they come in a smaller bird to get on their birds, where does the smaller bird go? This bit made me nervous on the way here as well. Because this goes at such speed, it really just looked like you're about to smash into somebody's little bird. It just it looks like we're going straight into that bird right in front of us right now. And I know we're not going to, but it's pretty scary at times. It is so cold. On the way back, you won't even be able to hear me because it's so windy. <laughs> anyway, this is the view. Look at that. The sky tower that we went up yesterday, all the buildings. We're going to see the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House soon. <laughs> if I make it there, I'm so cold. Now, this is amazing. You've got the whole view of the sea. That's the tower that we was up yesterday. And then you've got the bridge, the full view of the bridge and the Opera House. This is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Darling Harbour. We did have a walk down the harbour yesterday, but we didn't actually come to this part. Everyone said this part's amazing, so thought we'd just pop now whilst we're close to it and have a look. And already there's some really lovely birds, nice little places to come and eat, which I can imagine on a night is like really, really popular, especially on a weekend. Lovely little flags. Yeah, this is beautiful, and it's like the perfect time of day now because it's still sunny, but it's not too hot. Even though it's not been the warmest today, in the sun it's still boiling. Like right now, it's really nice and warm, but I'm not, you know, dying whilst I'm walking. Away we are. Here's some of the yachts. We have a door, huh? 
Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see that in the distance. Yeah, Aboriginal style. That's so cool. All the buildings in the background. Gorgeous. We came up to the Sky Tower yesterday, however, if you come seven days later, like within seven days, you can get up for $10, which is five pound each. So we've come back for the sunset and it is bright, it is busy. It is a lot busier at sunset time, but you kind of expect it to be. Here is the sun setting. Beautiful to see. Lovely city. But it is so busy now. Honestly, you could walk freely the other day. Right now, you can barely move. It is so busy. Here's a bit of a better view. There's a guy next to me, genuinely, he's got five cams on the go. <laughs> all set up to get this one shot look at that the, oh i just love watching planes i can actually watch planes go off all day long and see where they're going i found it so interesting it's getting darker now and all the city is beginning to turn its lights on which is nice to see still pretty bright the sun is still setting all the lights are starting to come on now <laughs> yeah josh is trying to use the binoculars and find this plane. He's just done it with another one. And he went, oh, yeah, a virgin one. <laughs> so that's how much you can see. It's so clear. The binoculars are so good. The sun is really starting to set now. All the lights on. You know what I do love watching? I just love watching the people walk across the street. But where are you all going? Where are you all up to? It's so small down there. All the cars lit up. Where are you driving to? Just love it. I could sit here and watch it all day. We've popped for some food. We've come just to the little food bar around the corner from the Sky Tower. We've just got a bit of sushi because we're not over hungry, but we may get seconds if we fancy it. We've gone for chicken and cucumber. This one's the salmon one and then a beef teriyaki one as well. This is teriyaki too. But yeah, these look so good. So I can't wait to tuck into these. This one is the chicken one. Crispy chicken and cucumber. Mm. Out of ten. Um, the sushi's got everything that I like in it. Seven. Out of ten. Eight point five. Better than what I thought. I'd say. <laughs> It's got more flavour and it's a little bit less dry than the last one. Beef, got higher to this. Trump. What a Trump. That's so good. Out of 10. Another rare from Pat. Josh has gone for a mocktail tonight. He's gone for the Kimori, Kimori, Kimori Kiss Pineapple Lychee Passion Fruit Puree and Lamb. Looks so good. I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to take the first sip. Sorry. You want this? Oh, that's so good. Not going to love that.